In this video, I'll be showing you how to take this PC and making it look like this. So first off, these are the main contents of the box. There is one extra cable, I'm pretty sure. It's just that I didn't need it because my computer case isn't that big. And you get the two LED RGB strips, which are Rainbow Wave, which I really like. So let's just get straight into installing these. This is quick and easy. This is not hard at all, and I will be walking you through this step by step. And as long as you have an MSI, ASRock, ASUS, or anything like that kind of motherboard or a Legion PC that has Vantage software, you are absolutely fine with controlling these. First off, obviously you want to take off both of the panels, uh, the front panel and the back panel. This will give you access to the inside of the computer so you can install them easily. Now what I like to do is that I like to plan out where I'm going to put it. So I'm going to have a strip down here and one right up there above the motherboard and it's go all, I'm gonna go all the way across so I can see it. So first off, there's two ways to connect this to a motherboard. So you got this three pin and you got this three pin. It's only three pin for this, for this set. So if you have a four pin connector, you probably also have a three pin connector that's either laid out like that or that. So look, for, look out for that in your motherboard. And I'm pretty sure, I'm not sure if this only comes in my PC, but Usually there's a little panel back here that has a bunch of three and four pin connectors for RGB. So yeah, make sure you're on the lookout for that. And then little connectors on the side of the motherboard, like right there, there, and below the, and below the graphics card. These are magnetic, might I add. So they clip right on. It's pretty strong magnets. They won't move around. So now you have your top RGB LED strips all, all connected, not connected, but now you take your second RGB strip right here and you plug it in to the first one, very obviously. This is very easy if I haven't already mentioned that. And I'd like to route this right through here so it's not very visible. All right, so basically what I did here is when I took the connector that wasn't being used and I pulled it through under the hard drive cage because I can't really get under that very well, very well. So I pulled the little LED strip through and then I flattened it out so the magnets were straight on the, uh, the bottom of the case. So it would actually look good. So yep, little secret for you right there. So there we go. We have this RGB LED strip plugged in down there and this one plugged in up here. There's the connector. Right here. It's very simple. Now everything is plugged in. You have successfully installed RGB LEDs into your computer. So I'm going to power this bitch on now. And voila, just like that, you have installed RGB LEDs into your case and you have turned your mess, your disgustingness of a PC. These aren't included. I I don't think you've noticed that. I actually made a tutorial on how to install these. Go check it out if you want to know. They only cost about 26 bucks, which is a deal. They cost $10 more than these. These only cost about 16, which is very good, except this is just red. I don't know why. So yeah, this is how you install RGB LEDs into your PC. If you need any help, leave a comment down below. I would be willing to help anybody um, if I can. So yeah, leave like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay tuned for more tutorials.